20 minutes drive from the home. See these old buildings here, hardened back. There's a little stream that runs under here. We'll have a little walk along. Uh, we're, we're near Howarth, really. Um, not far. We're going to go and see Boyd's stock, so this can see that the little stream runs along. We're going to follow this path to the bridge. We've decorated the little gardens at the bottom of the path here nicely, haven't they? There's a big heron. Oh, it's just flying off. Stay there. This is Goit Stock Walk we're on. You see, I haven't seen anybody, and it's lovely because you could just walk like along the, the hard path with like road there and then nip into the stream in the woods when you want to without getting all muddy or, or getting, you know, worrying about ticks off the, off the plants or anything like that. It's just um, quite a pleasant walk. And also, there's a bit breeze today, so you're sheltered from the wind. So we're going further up, we're at a holiday park now and they've all got through individual gates and uh, like sort of not just basic caravans, they're quite well built things and they've got like brick on them and all. We'll just come through that holiday park now, down there and then we're heading up. And they said there was a little sign to a bigger waterfall, so we saw a smaller waterfall earlier. We've actually seen two heron. One was sitting on the waterfall, and then further along the river, there was another one we saw. Well, it could have been the same one, but... Well, so we're quite, we're quite a few minutes apart. So it's amazing, it's just... Uh, it's quite... It's quite steep this, really, in a way, because the stream's been powerful all the way down. It seems to be getting steeper and steeper. In terms of flowing down all these, through all these boulders and things. It creates a tremendous noise. Because it's basically little mini waterfalls all the way up. And, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the larger waterfall looks like. Of course, it's not been that much rain recently, but at least there's, in here there seems to be plenty of water flowing. So we should see something good. Big boulders here, very big. So we can now see the main waterfall. So this is Goit Stocks Waterfall. We saw the lower falls earlier on and now the higher falls. We've been walking for about 25 minutes. Um, it said, actually said on the thing 45 minutes, but where we don't walk that slow. Uh, so yeah, so where we are is about 20 minutes drive almost straight south from Menston and we drove through Bingley and then across the river and then up the hillside through there and uh, sort of cut the direction straight to the countryside from our house basically and then it's been another 25 minute walk through these woods following this stream along all the way and now we're coming to the big waterfall which is quite something as you can see. Huge slabs everywhere covered in thick moss. Amazing, you know, cliffs and things. So it says uh, dangerous currents, the waterfall will trap and drown a victim, so don't swim in it. That's literally get how to get someone to get off. It's amazing that isn't it? Very nice. So come down here, we might well just see it, like get a clean shot with a photograph or something here. Yeah. It's an amazing scene that with the lovely the vegetation overhanging and the cliffs and everything. So.
Amazing, all these exposed roots. Just clinging onto the rock there, that tree. And it, it seems to be just, just somehow rooted into the rocks and then trying to get a bit of soil. It's incredible. But the roots for that tree there are just hanging on. It's quite tall as well. Yeah, so it's good, isn't it? It's got three like little spout things for yeah, it's good, good. That's the plunge pool. Now there's these little metal stairs coming up, and it goes along the side of the rock face here. Yeah. You okay? What? Hurry up, you're the slowest person ever. Ooh. All right, well, just be careful, don't want any tripping over. Take your time. There's more waterfalls up there. So this is the main one. Going down. But there's other ones up there. Look at that like round thing in the rock there. So this is called a nick point. A nick point from erosion. Uh, a few raspberries there on the way. Give me my hat. So there's about nine minutes from that previous location, uh, basically in the westerly direction to Haworth. Now Haworth is a mile away over the brow of this hill. We just parked up to have a little bit of a tea picnic uh, here. So there's actually a mixture of bilberry and heather, things like that in there. Um, on the moors there and very close to the Bronte Parsonage Museum which I think is just over in that direction there as well so it's kind of Bronte country here um, so yeah so I think I think it's just less than a, like half a mile over the brow and then you're into Haworth but we're just stopping here and having um, picnics and things like that it's about is it nearly five o'clock nearly five o'clock I think Oh, we just come out, we could be left about three o'clock on uh, Monday afternoon. And we've seen some people coming out of school because it's actually not yet the school holidays for some schools. They're supposed to finish on Wednesday, but it's teacher training days for our schools. <laughs> 